Well, I've made a lot of progress. Um, as you can see, I'm actually broadcasting from inside the workshop. All the walls are up. The drywall is up. Wiring is complete. I've actually moved a lot of the stuff that was right in the middle of the shop out to the sides. I've done a lot of organizing just to make sure that <clears throat> I know where everything is. I know where most of my stuff is. I'm still missing some uh, some drill bits, some Forstner bits. I don't know where those are. My spade bits. I don't know. But that's the least of my worries. The next step is going to be lighting. So that's what I'm going to work on today. I've already got the conduit up there and I've already got the sockets. And the switch is behind this tennis racket here so and here's my box full of LED light bulbs and I'm going let's take a closer look at one of these right now so what this is is a self-contained LED T8 tube style lamp uh, so it comes with its own housing since it's LED it doesn't need a ballast and so they come with this, let's see if I can get some focus here, this socket on both sides, okay, here, and in here, and some of the accessories that come with it are this little pigtail, and then this bag of stuff. You get a couple of these little brackets for hanging it on the ceiling. You get this beautiful device here which is a coupler so you can daisy chain these lights together just butting them up end to end. And then to dress everything up they have a little cap for the one that would be last in line so you can cover that hole. And so I'm planning on making, I know that light's really bright. So you can see where I've got the, the blue chalk. I'm going to have five rows of five lights and that makes 25 bulbs, which is the exact number that I have. I'm just uh, temporarily wiring the, one of these lights to a cord, just so I can test it. The, uh, they leave a lot to be desired on the instructions on how to wire these. I know what ground is, and I don't think it matters. I don't think there's polarity to the lights. so. I'm going to go for it here. I don't know if in China this is just the colors that they use, if this is an international thing. I've got blue and brown and a green on yellow. So, pretty sure green on yellow is ground. Of course I could, get, I could be surprised here as well, but we're going to find out right now. I sure hope this isn't anticlimactic here. <clears throat> Plug this plug into the light. Ta da! Woo, these are bright. Man, that's just one. I know you have no frame of reference and no context, but it is very bright. Compared to the lights that are already in here, just this one light is casting a shadow or making everything else cast a shadow that's under the other light, if that makes sense. So anyway, I've got 25 of these to put in the shop. It should be nice and bright.
All right, so here's the big reveal of just one row, one row of lights. Take my camera a second to adjust. There's already a huge difference in the uh, shop, just from the one row. So, I mean, here's the dark side now, the dark side of the shop. One row, I've got four more of those, and I think it's going to make a huge difference in uh, me being able to see what I'm doing. One thing of note, these little pigtails that they give you to attach a plug to are so short that I'm going to have to come up with a solution to get them into some, you know, I'll have to buy those little short jumpers to get it into the socket because it's too short. I can't even get it into the socket that's right next to the light. I should have put those on their sides, I think, and then had it plugged directly in. But, you know, you, you live and you learn. Well, I guess I should consider myself pretty lucky. Out of the 25 LED lights that I bought, only one was not working. And I've disassembled, I've taken the end cap off, pulled out the light assembly, and here is the power supply here. And as you can see, they just missed a solder. I mean, it's not even tinned or anything, so it just needs to go right here where you can't see, right here on this black lead here. And I'm going to attempt to do that right now. All right, that did it. <clears throat> Insert everything back in now. get a super wide shot of the shop. This is the existing lighting which consists of two CFLs. Here's the new lights. Go ahead and pan around. pretty happy with what I ended up with here. I think it, the video quality is also going to benefit from this. So I guess we'll find out. Okay, I think I'm going to end the uh, building a workshop series right here. Uh, for all intents and purposes, the workshop is complete and what is left to do is to build some shop furniture and storage and miter saw station and a whole bunch of other projects that I will just set up as their own individual projects on my YouTube channel. If you are interested in um, buying these lights that I have used, um, you can go ahead and click the affiliate link below. It will take you to an Amazon page where these lights are available. I bought mine in bulk and um, so I may have gotten a little bit better price 
Um, for full disclosure, if you're interested, I paid $180 for 25 of these. Um, so, well under $10 a piece, probably more like $6 or $7 a piece. And uh, I think they're well worth the price. Um, thank you, everybody, for watching this far. Um, I appreciate all the participation in the comments section and um, everybody that reaches out and hits that like button. If uh, this is your first time watching, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I do uh, weekly updates um, at a minimum. Sometimes I get two or three videos out a week. So uh, thanks again, and I'll see you guys next time.